Let me end with a final reflection. I got to show you something that really got to me. I, you know, I don't let the press get to me too often, but this is not even from America. This is from an Australian Today show. Uh, and they found on Facebook a lady who was talking about how hard she works for her family. And this is the way they reported it. I want to take you back to the 1950s, or at least that's what I thought when I read this Brisbane mum's Facebook post. Brooke Smith shared her routine online. Here's what she said. I always make sure I don't go to bed until everyone's lunches are packed, their clothes are set out for the next day, including my husband's, and the house is clean, dishwasher is on, and a load of washing is on. I always get up early, 4.30, with my husband to make his breakfast no. and coffee. Um... Go, Brooke. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I mean, I tell you what, though, Chris. I mean, a lot of people um, online are, are saying, "Well done," uh, are praising her. Who? Who are these people? <laughs> Oh, has he hypnotised her or something? Who does this stuff? <laughs> Making his breakfast and then putting his clothes out of a night? Is he disabled or something? Like, seriously. <laughs> like, get a grip. Get off your bum and do stuff yourself. And the guy's laughing. Who are these people, he says? Who are these people? Let me just, again, let me just clear away the fog, clear away the atmosphere, and look at reality. The people who were talking just there, what do they do for a living and for whom? They spew banalities into a camera, into a television camera, for people who would fire them in a heartbeat if their ratings dropped. For people who would say, oh, you know, I hate to let you go, mate, but, you know, it, uh, your ratings dropped a point and uh, you're out of here and we're putting on uh, a game show. You know, that, that's, who, that's what they do. Here's a lady who works extremely hard, not for money, not for money. She works for the people who love her and who will be shaped by her and who will actually hold her in reverence and in their hearts forever because she gave them a life that no one else could give them. She did it. She didn't do it for money. She did it out of love and she did it for love and she did it through love. You know, when you make somebody coffee, that ain't coffee, that's love. When you make somebody dinner, when you make a home for somebody, that's, it's not a house. When you're, you know, when people say, oh, a housewife, right? I, I like the term homemaker instead of housewife because when you keep a house for somebody, you make a home for somebody and that's an act of love. Materialism is at the heart of leftism. Materialism was always at the heart of leftism. It is in Marxist theory. It is there from the very beginning. And in a materialist world, you don't exist. You are a creation of a power structure. You tell me, you tell me whether you exist or not. You tell me whether your dignity comes from breaking through the power structure or from doing the things you love for the people you love and with the people you love. You tell me uh, where, where it is. If you don't want to exist, if you don't want to be free because you're not there, if you don't want to be free because you don't exist, then you should be voting for those. You should be voting for Bernie Sanders. But if you think maybe, maybe there is something about you that is everlasting and real and it gets its dignity from finding its way through freedom and through personal responsibility, then maybe you want to stick on the road we're on right this minute. Thank you for tuning into The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the country. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.